Hello guys, welcome to vlog number two, studying for my immunology exam. So I started off the first day with a bowl of fruit and a cup of tea and it was absolutely beautiful outside that day. Um, I spent the whole day working on a topic or a set of lectures on T-cell signaling. I thought it was worth putting the time in because it's always come up twice in every past paper we had access to. I had that salad for lunch and I just continued working on that stuff all day. <laughs> morning guys day two of studying for my immunology exam so do you know those days when you wake up and you're just not having it me today okay so my plan for the morning is to finish the lectures i did yesterday because I wasn't because I wasn't really happy with them so I'm gonna finish that and then in the afternoon I'm gonna do peripheral tolerance Head to Sainsbury's to buy some groceries for the week because I haven't got much food. That's why I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I just had a cup of tea, so. Okay, so I'm having a salad, a cheese and onion sandwich I got from Sainsbury's because I was craving it and some crisps. Then I typed up some sample essays for CD4 and CD8 cells. And also apologies for the crap voiceover. I'm using my Mac, which is so loud because it hella overheats. I meal prepped for the next couple of days. My kitchen's a mess and it is bloody boiling. Just, get, just get, getting through it like you have to. Today I feel okay, today I feel like I can smash out a good amount of work, so that's good. Okay, so I finished uh, homing and trafficking, which is about how your cells um, go to your lymph nodes or sites of inflamed tissues. Um, nobody cares um, why I start defining shit in my vlogs. Nobody gives a face. I finished homing and trafficking and now I'm about to do lectures on two really cool cell types from innate immunity called macrophages and neutrophils so I'm gonna do those and yeah I think it's time for a time lapse boys OMG I literally eat the same thing every day So I finished macrophages and neutrophils and I also did the inflammasome which is like this supramolecular organizing center that can cause more inflammation. And now I'm having a cup of tea and some fruit. Fruits. Yeah, so I have one more essay plan that I want to do today and then I'll be done with what I wanted to do today. But I am actually going to try and get tomorrow's stuff done this evening. Because um, tomorrow I was meant to spend half a day finalizing essay plans and then start revising, like drilling the details in. But I think if I finish that tonight and I give myself two full days to drill the details in, I'll be much happier. This morning I went to Wilco's to buy some skincare stuff because my skin has had the worst breakout and so I've decided I'm gonna 
give up my sweets. I mean, like, probably treat myself but not have, like, a daily sugary snack because my body has never been used to that. Still cute, though. <laughs> so, I got these three. I'm gonna redo my nails tonight because they're fucking disgusting. And I also got all of these on sale in Wilco's. And I actually got these, which came with these, from Wilco's. And these were £1.50. £1.50 for five big highlighters. Like, I think, like, this is such, like, a, like, a stationary gasm. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Hello, good morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow, morning, today in the morning. So this morning, I'm gonna do developmental genetics and embryonal cancers, and then I'm gonna go to the dentist because it's my last Invisalign day, and, and, and then I'm gonna go meet Catherine and Flo for lunch, and then I'm gonna come back and do immunology. What the fuck? Day has flown by and I still haven't started any immunology. It's three o'clock. Fuck. I need to stop cursing. I need to remember that this stuff's actually gonna be uploaded. So respect yourself, Laura. So exciting times. I'm officially done with my main chunk of treatment for my Invisalign. So. But yeah, now I can drink as much tea as I want in a day, which is super duper exciting. So I'm gonna do immunology. Wish me luck, boys. Sorry, but I'm so fucking cute. Like, date me Harry Styles. Tag Harry Styles in the, in the, in the... Gonna redo the thing that I s was gonna do today, but did yesterday, um, because none of it stuck. And then I'm gonna go through everything else. I think I'm gonna spend about an hour and a half making sure I understand everything and then try and get the memory going. I literally I'm about to fall asleep so we're gonna dance it out. I got a river for a soul. The shell of a man who can never is if you don't dance it out, you need to change your life. Because now I'm awake, now I'm ready to face it. And happy hormones, you know? Music I love, a good old wiggle. <laughs> Come on in. Um it is 7.20. I set my alarm early this morning. Not this early, but I just woke up. I think I'm a bit spooked about my exam tomorrow, so I'm gonna start revising early today, so that's good. How have I done so much work and it's not even 10 yet? Like, low-key makes me feel guilty for waking up at 9 every day, but also I work into the evenings and this was a strategy to be able to sleep well tonight because I've got a morning exam and I go wake up early, you know? And I know if I did this every single day, I would just burn out. Like, I know myself. I did T-cell signaling, which is the first thing you saw me do, which is like a bulk of five lectures, which, which Two questions on that come up every year usually so and then I went and did neutrophils and macrophages I'm predicting that neutrophils will come up because it's that lectures first year and neutrophils is his area of research so I think it might come up uh, now I'm gonna make myself I had a cup of tea ready I think I might make myself a smoothie I feel like I could be really judged on my smoothie too I put some spinach blueberries banana and some oats and I'm gonna add some water blend it. Oh, great. I need to plug it in, right? That makes sense. See how it tastes? It's actually really nice. I just don't know how I feel about the texture of the oats. Very nice, very nice. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Most annoying disruption of the day. I realized I don't have enough milk for a cup of tea tomorrow. 
and I definitely need a cup of tea because my exam's at 9.15 and it finishes at 12.15 so this weather is so unacceptable so why am I like panting? St. Bruce is literally like a three minute walk away you guys I have this cowboy song this guy is not a cowboy song I have this like southern song stuck in my head and I've just been singing it all day I'm starting to feel nervous, especially because it's a morning exam, so I know that whatever I do between now <coughs> It's six o'clock now, so whatever I do between now and when I go to bed, which I'm aiming to go to bed at like 10 Is gonna be the final thing Good morning, it's exam day, yay! I'm just boiling the kettle to make a cup of tea, it's freezing though like during the night, I put the hoodie and some socks on, which I never do. Okay, I just came back home. I actually returned some textbooks. Um, one of the questions I wanted to come up came up, and I think that one went really well. The other two came up from the T-cell signaling stuff, which I did put in a lot of time for. The only thing is, is I blanked, like I studied it so well and then in the exam I just blanked and I hate how that happens. It's just very frustrating, like I'm just so frustrated. With time and having had a pizza and some coke, um, I put the exam into perspective. And I feel like it was okay, it's not as catastrophic as I thought it was. I think I was just very overwhelmed and as I was writing I was like confusing things, but looking back, I think one essay went really well, one was like good, like okay good, and one was like the worst. But I wouldn't say it was terrible, I just think I put some irrelevant information. Well I know I did, but I hope that the marker can look past that and realize that like yes I did kind of answer the question. I don't know, but I, <laughs> I thought it was catastrophic, but putting it into perspective I think it was okay. So on to the next one, you know? Moving on. So So I realized I didn't really film an outro for this vlog, so I'm gonna give you an outro. First things first. Um, the essays that came up, because I was being so obscure about them, were neutrophils, and the other ones were T-cell signaling. That's really all I wanted to say. Okay, subscribe, goodbye, thanks for watching.